Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back into another video. Today's video it is about the changes that happened between PDS and the live servers. The ones that we are, you know, the new patch we have. So, um, I have here a list and let me show it to you guys so you guys understand what I'm talking about. Um, but basically, now they decided to do something which the AUC has been requesting, which was putting the PTS update notes separate from the normal update notes because um, you know people would would be confused where they would have to go to check out the changes so now it is actually its own unique little post so I'm gonna go through these uh, changes I'm also gonna be leaving this link in the description of the video so feel free to check it out if you don't if you know you just want to check it out by yourself if you have any questions about anything that I might say in the video or just anything in the, sh in the patch notes, feel free to basically just uh, ask down in the comments below. Me and the rest of the guys, the viewers, uh, will help you out as much as we can. So let's sh jump into the shooting range and see exactly what changed. So one of the biggest worries about a lot of people was the kill to heal changes uh, about completely ignoring anti-heal. Uh, they're cauterized, as you might understand. Now, however, they did nerf it a bit to compensate. I still think that they should buff the, the price. I'm sorry, not buff, nerf from 300, 600, and 900. Um, right now it's actually 200, 400, 600, and it will be 250 heals, 500 heals, 750 heals. Before it was 300, 600, 900. So this was nerfed in order to compensate for the fact of the anti heal. I've been playing a little bit since the patches come out, and honestly, it doesn't feel that strong. Um, I had some people telling me that apparently it's not ignoring anti-heal. It might just be the color, it might just be some weird connection there between anti-heal and this item. Um, either way, I'm going to be testing it out more in the next few days to report it to the developers. Now, what else changed on items? Rejuvenate is now 10, 20, and 30%. If you don't know, it does ignore a little bit of cauterize, but only for when you're being healed by others. So if you are a tank and you need some extra healing, up to 30%, it's, this is not exact number of what you're going to ignore from cauterize. Um, it'll be something like 20, 25 or something like that. It's because of the diminishing returns and so on, but it will help you. Cauterize will not affect you as much and you could still be potentially saved um, late game when there's 90% cauterize going around. So definitely check this out and try to use it. Lethality has also been buffed, not just with a jump height that they added to the item, but that also increased the duration of it. Now it's 3.5 seconds. I'm actually going to go and check this out right now and see how it works. We're going to get a kill here and just see how much height we can actually get from anything. Oh, you definitely feel it. It just feels like, unfortunately, I don't know if you just noticed there, which is my biggest worry about this entire thing, is that once you're just going around, it literally stops your momentum. This is something I'm going to be reporting to them to see if they can actually uh, fix it, because it definitely, definitely feels a bit weird. Now, they also mentioned here the Betty change, but that's what I'm trying to understand, because if I go here into the patch notes, I believe that this was already a thing. So unless they actually messed up and didn't make it, you know, they didn't put it in. If I'm going here onto the patch notes, confirming it right now, Betty La Bomba. Okay, so she was meant to have, uh, let's go with another talent, not that one. Uh, she was meant to have 750 direct damage. What they did was instead of 750, they did 700. So, you know, not as strong, which is great. I feel like a lot of people were just really really uh, not giving the proper value to um, to Betty. I feel like you can do so much if you know how to play her and if you train her long enough. It, it's insane how much people don't really just want to learn her and instead they just prefer to complain about it. All right, as for the changes of Kasumi, apparently I believe they made the damage reduction on her movement ability I don't know why they're mentioning this again. They they put it up on the PDS patch notes, most of the stuff that we already knew. They the the, the damage decrease uh, decrease the the damage the, the being lower now, but per stack being 20% was already there. I think that what they just trying to do was update the rest the things that got, you know, 
um, an extra. Basically, now the uh, Kasumi will actually deal uh, double the damage of her normal damage, which is 200, to the Poyables and Shields. The Poyables, for some reason, is not working, but I've already reported that to them. And Shields, it is already working, so she's doing 400 damage to Shields. Bulldozer and finally K uh, Wrecker are actually worth it to be bought by Kasumis, finally. Enemies with curse tags are now granted a reveal on Kasumi as long as they have a curse mark. Okay, that's new. A reveal. Okay. Nothing too bad. Alright, Kasumi now faces whoever triggers it when arriving after the teleporting for the spirit lure. So, if you don't understand what is going on here, I'm going to try to replicate this here. Um, let's put here on the pips a trap here. Let's just wait this pip to go away. And now if we place it, now it's going to trigger. Now I'm going to look another way. As you see, my aim, my aim was pushed in to where Pip is. They're saying that it reveals, so let's see. Oh, apparently I can't shoot them anymore. Oh, I can. Mm. That might not be working. Mm -mm. Doesn't seem like it's working. Maybe... It a little bit of an issue. Might have to report this. What is going on with her? Did I bug anything? Well, either way, it's not showing. But for some reason, it's not working here really well. Maybe it's just a shooting range thing. Okay. So for uh, Lilith, this is actually interesting. If you guys already heard, um, the, 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 the change to her swarm, right? So, they made her last longer, but also increased her cooldown. I'm already one of the people that already used Kronos for her. And I know some people didn't agree with it, but now it's even more worth it than before. Now, the swarm lasts longer, obviously. This was already mentioned, and it will last longer. As you can see. Although the sound, I might actually report that. That, you know, it does that. Now the cooldown is 3 seconds, as you can see. Even if you can place more than 2... Uh, it will always clean up the first one. It doesn't matter. It, it, it's just... It's something they did to prevent putting too many. So as soon as you try to put the third one, the second, the first one will disappear. Uh, and here in question to this was actually time. But if I go for Kronos here... And I'm going to put a mark there so I can get some blood. And I'm just going to put one... Two... And if I try to put the third one, the first one will disappear. So they made that as a failsafe, which is okay. I, I agree with that. But then one thing they did on PDS that I knew because I saw it and I tested it out. Uh, it was actually something that I complained a lot. Which was, uh, when you're doing this, you couldn't jump. Now, there was a way to do it, but it was with a bug. And it definitely didn't work too well. Basically, if you place a mark and you try to do a swarm immediately... You have the marker, but it's not charging, right? The way to prevent this is by going left-click and it'll start doing it. And until you click the, the, the left-click, right, you can jump, which is what I wanted. Like, this is still the same as not having the ability either way, right? So now we can actually charge, charge it and jump so you can have higher ground when want to properly place your your circle right there it's gonna be so much better this is a huge quality of life change for for lilith i am so glad they actually listened to it those are two things that i complained about was the damage to the playables and shields with kasumi and it was the jumping with lilith while charging the the uh the swarm as you can see they do listen and that is absolutely awesome all right next up uh we got some bug fixes which this was already done they just didn't you know, they just didn't put it on the on the patch notes. But now the animation is actually proper. Uh, still, for some reason, this is a bit fast. No, but it's correct now. Uh, basically, if you didn't know before, when we had the Curse Revolver separate, there would be one animation specifically for Curse Revolver because, you know, slower fast uh, fire, uh, fire rate and the bullets hit harder it meant that the revolver would do a slower animation once they put it in base kit that animation didn't went through we stayed with the old animation which would shoot really fast right and sometimes it would throw people off so now it actually matches what it was supposed to do which is awesome 
Okay, so that's it. Fixed an issue where reactivating Betty's ultimate long live the queen when in practice made it to an enemy who could cause to deal zero damage. This is true, and I, I believe that it money. actually is fixed because I believe I tested it. But for this, you need to basically, you know, when you would ult with Betty and you would go right in front of them and do no damage. Well, now it properly works. PDS has brought this with it, and that's awesome. For a Cashpin. Cashpin, Cashpin, Cashpin. Spending my own money, but I do right. need items. For Cashpin, it says the following. Fixed an issue where Cashpin's deadly momentum would have separate lockout times depending on whether the ability was manually reactivated or not. Have separate lockout times. Okay, so what they're th we're talking about was that the ability can actually be re-triggered. I believe this is what they're talking about. Um... You can double click it, right, for this, and then if you could just, if you just wanted to take the ability to the end and not click it again to make it, you know, blow up faster, um, it would have a different lockout way. And you probably already noticed that I already have my cooldown back. Um, that's also a thing that I figured out recently. Cashpin apparently has his cooldowns, both of the two dashes, each one of them has its own individual cooldown, and they're both decreasing at the same time. So I can use them right now, and they're now both at 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 seconds. Before, with other abilities actually, it will go, as you're going to be seeing right now, 1, and then 2. Boom. And... Uh, up until now, most abilities of other characters, except for Grok, would have its own individual um, cooldown. But it would have to be the first one finishing to then go to the second and even third if there's more. Uh, for example, Tiberius is a perfect example. If you go to Tiberius with a double jump card, you'll see that each one of them has their own cooldown. They don't work like this. Apparently, I spoke to a developer that actually worked on the developing of Cashpin. And this is actually intentional. This is to make him feel a proper flank, which means that with the talent, this talent right here, it means that you are going to be having your dashes super, super fast, right? So they have now five second cooldown, but they can both be triggered immediately. And they both come back immediately as well. One, then two. So there's a little trick for you. And why would you want uh, the fix to the the lockout time after the triggering the movement ability by yourself it's because you can actually do double damage if you do double click immediately so it's completely the opposite of the movement ability of the uh, zin because zin just spins through and does damage but this one you can actually do damage two times if you saw there you saw those two damage numbers so you can do that here's a little there's a little tip for you and also the fix what it actually means now for kasumi Kasumi bug fixes. Fix an issue where Kasumi's spirit slurs ability would not it was not putting feared enemies into third person. Okay, that one I didn't knew, but I'm guessing that anybody who gets feared basically now when they on their own view, not us, their own view will now go in third person for themselves. So they'll see the animation of the fear. Fix an issue where Kasumi's yokai doll could target some map objects. Yes, this one is for anyone who's wondering. In certain maps, I actually was one of the people that reported this as well. I immediately found it on Ice Mines and even on Bazaar. The gates that open on Bazaar and the gates on the middle of the map for Ice Mines, you could actually shoot them. In fact, you could even put the dolls there and it would trigger them by themselves. They would just blow up, they would just light up red and allow you to teleport to them for some reason. Fix an issue where Kasumi's yokai doll was applying the anti-heal effect to all enemies uh, within her attack cone. So if you had like imagine that you actually had people very very close to the point you could actually trigger them by just slight little movement. This means that they're both on my cone basically. If I attack this person they both would have cauterize. Now that's fixed. Also little thing this was I actually showed it to a developer of animations and I believe that she passed it along and then actually uh, got it fixed. As you see here when I'm jumping when I'm doing this before it would do make the doll go up and down super weird so they fixed that as well which is awesome. Uh, they also fixed an issue where Kasumi's unfinished business talent was still affected by anti-heal. That is the third talent. Even if you, like it says, while traveling unaffected by cauterize, um, it would heal you for all the damage you took during that. This is now super awesome, by the way. Because with 75% damage reduction, you can do so much. It's insane. 
Um, so you can actually properly play with a third talent finally and just tank everything. Like you take so much damage. You can just basically mitigate so much damage, it's insane. All right. Uh, fix an issue where Kasumi would not gain the effect of eliminate when her while her body and soul was uh, active. So this is also another thing that I also reported. Um, when you when you would do this, eliminate wouldn't carry over with your body. It would actually stay near the physical body, not your soul. So uh, the, the you know the ghost form, the soul, it would not have the effect of eliminate, right? to see people going invisible like you could use it imagine there's a sky hidden over there you could do this and if you saw it you could just teleport back you couldn't because the eliminate would only stay in the physical body and that's being fixed which is awesome there's actually multiple different problems there uh, for example with with Maeve's ultimate if you use your movement ability you could only see around you on the physical body with the soul it would go everything completely black and you wouldn't see absolutely anything I actually showed this on stream and it's pretty weird I believe that they might have fixed it as well uh, fix an issue where Kasumi's Essence Strain card was not properly expressing the intended effect of the card. Your Sephachitaria deals an additional 0.2% damage per point base damage per stack of curse. Okay, I don't think that's actually really important because it still does the exact same thing. Uh, even with the nerf to the damage, I still feel like this shouldn't, shouldn't this, this card shouldn't exist. This is like, it brings no drawbacks at all. It's kind of stupid in my opinion as well. Like you do 1000 damage with a right click, That's that doesn't feel nice at all. They really hope that they actually consider just removing the card and, 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 and that's it. Address issues where some Kasumi's abilities would desync between client and server when switching targets quickly. Some Kasumi's abilities would desync. Okay, uh, that one I don't know what it, what it actually means, sorry. Um, Ray, fix an issue where Ray's death magics cards was uh, was reducing cooldowns timers on Ray's other abilities, even if they were not on cooldown. Okay, I know what this is. I might actually be sad about this one here. <laughs> oh no. Um, so basically, there's a little trick with death magics. If I don't use my right click and I just switch targets to make the card work. It would actually give me a second charge, but it's because it, it's like it's there was almost a second cooldown charge there. Now let's see if it is. Ah, oh, they actually fixed it. Oh, oh no, that's unfortunate. Uh, you could actually have two stacks, but I am questioning whether or not the other card is still the future generations if it's still putting an extra stack on there. Let's see, if I come back now to life, I should have two charges, unless they actually fix that as well. Yeah, they fixed it. Oof, Ray's just been nerfed. Unfortunate. Fixed an issue where placing a spray on the ceiling would cause the spray to play... Oh, really? They fixed this. The sprays would actually go inverted if you try to put that on the ceiling. Did they actually fix it? Did... Oh, they did! <laughs> okay. Oh lord. Okay, they still have anti under investigation. Effects that ignore anti heal will still display the amount healed as if it has been reduced by anti heal. Olive oil tint instead of green. Okay, so that's the issue that I was saying about the uh, the card rise. Now, as for the rest of the changes, um, they you know I'm gonna put both links. Okay, I'm gonna put both links. You have the uh, this is the patch notes, the initial patch notes, and this is the PDS patch notes. So the PDS patch notes uh, are the ones that I just reviewed, and the normal patch notes are the ones that are even since showcase. I did a showcase video basically breaking down everything on it, uh, showing you, you know, nerfs, changes, and so on. So if you missed that one, you want to go check it out. Hey, be my guest. Go 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 and check it out. Uh, I'm gonna leave both links either way uh, on the description so you guys can access this even in the future. Okay. If you have any questions about anything that you might have missed or not fully understood, please, by all means, go into the comment section down below and we'll try to help you as much as possible. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know what you think about these changes. Do you think that the PDS patch notes were actually pretty good? Bad? Do you still have some concerns about certain things like Delta Heal or not? Let me know so I can pass it along to the, P to the developers. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, 
Have a wonderful time.